Bletchley Park was an incredibly secret code-breaking facility during the war. The Germans at the time had the Enigma machine, which was a random generator of letters with which words were made and codes were sent, and it was virtually uncrackable. It's beautiful. Essentially, the government collected these very eccentric people all under one roof. And I always think of us as sort of uh, an odd bunch of superheroes who all have these very special powers but wear tank tops and tweed. They recruited chess champions, they recruited mathematicians, people who had a willingness to dig into puzzles. Well, they say they're good, and now we shall find out, don't we? They were asked to come in, they worked incredible hours. They practically lived at Bletchley. They kept their spirits up. There was an incredible collegiate atmosphere there, and I think it was a very fun, exciting, dare I say it, sexy sort of place to work because they really were spearheading the intelligence needed to win the war. All these code breakers, very young people, brought to this place, and they expanded hugely. This place went from being a cottage industry to an industrial code breaking factory, from 200 odd people at the start of the war to about 9,000 on the books. They were working in huts, which are glorified garden sheds. These are certainly, you know, some of the people that, that helped to win the, the Second World War, and nobody knew about them. It's one of the, the best kept secrets, you know, in history of intelligence. If you speak a word of what I'm about to show you, you will be executed for high treason. By all accounts, the work that they did at Bletchley shortened the duration of the war by up to two years. Stalingrad, the Ardennes, the invasion of Normandy, all victories that would not have been possible without the intelligence that we supplied. The Nazis were the bad guys and they were the good guys. It was that simple and uh, anything to, to bring about a victory was, was what they were after. It shouldn't be forgotten how extraordinary these people were and, and what they did. Um, I think it's very important that we remember that. T. R. O. O. T. T. A. A. H. H. Q. Q. 